a better financial position. Um, but it remains the case today that the only company, American car companies that have not gone bankrupt are Tesla and Ford. Uh, and, you know, and, and, and unless something changes significantly with Rivian and Lucid, they will both go bankrupt. They are tracking to bankruptcy. But they may not, I'm um, saying like, that, that is currently, like, if, if this were an airplane, they're like, they're going like that. So if something happens to go, it's change. <laughs> okay, but currently, the intersection with doom. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I I hope they are able to do something, but unless they cut their costs dramatically, they are in deep trouble. So we have seen uh, Elon giving an interview about Rivian, and during an interview, there was a mention, a uh, discussion about Rivian and Lucid, and he said that uh, Rivian and Lucid they need to minimize cost if they want to survive for the coming few years it's a really interesting comment and looking closer into the detail of the two companies while parallels exist with Tesla situation a few years ago many supply was far less of a problem than it is now going forward with interest rates trending the way they are the effects are twofold. Cars are less affordable, that is higher monthlies, and companies have less effective cash or higher interest. Also, battery material costs were trending down as scale was trending up. Right now, the opposite is happening with costs even with extreme scaling efforts across continents and companies. What Tesla did well while calling its minimalism was to make their mass market products extremely simple. Removing buttons was as much a money or complexity choice as a design one. Both Rivian and Lucid models are extremely complex. Very good cars but very complex. This is the biggest difference I see between the Model X days and the Rivian and Lucid. Anyways, we'll see how this plays out in the coming years. Rivian currently has about 16 to 17 billion dollar in cash reserve. So the second part of... So in general, the effective cash issue is a non-issue for them as of now. Per Rivian, they have enough cash to, ca to last them in 2025, according to some people, but I'm not really sure about that, which seems about right given the burn, cash balance and factory build. Of course, it could turn out to be less if they continue to be hamstrung by production delays, increased costs and tough reality. The problem I see is that they probably need to get to a production rate somewhere near 500,000 to 600,000 vehicles annually to get to cash flow break even. I'm stating these numbers based on the experience of Tesla. I think that was how Tesla came about. And I'm pretty skeptical that they hit that target in the coming three years given their 2022 target is 25,000 vehicles. As a, an EV enthusiast, I really want these companies to succeed. It's good for Tesla also if there are other competitors for the market. Otherwise, te if Tesla is the only one making electric vehicles in the world, it would be very difficult for it to expand and to be adopted worldwide. And one more thing, currently what I think they are doing right now, these companies, they raised prices on new pre-orders and are quickly ramping up production on existing pre-orders by prioritizing certain builds first, that is Black Mountain Interior, Adventure Package and 21-inch Road Wheels and prioritizing certain locations 
that is anywhere with an active service center. It might piss off some long-held pre-order holders, but it's what they need to do at the moment. I think it's better that they swallow the bitter pill now with this expansion, including the new factory in Georgia. If they truly, truly do start to show a big risk of bankruptcy, I think I wouldn't be surprised if they get bought by another b big company like Amazon or something. So anyways, that's the update I have for you. I would like to know your thoughts about how Tesla, uh, I mean how Tesla, not Tesla, how Rivian and Lucid can get out of this uh, mess they are currently in and how they can solve their problems and uh, go into profit margin. Let us know your thoughts. That's all I have for, for now. Thanks for, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and make sure to like and share the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with another Tesla and EV updates. Keep having a great weekend. Bye bye.